Go I, ahead. I need you to back me up. Yeah, right? because because the truth is, leave your God in your house. When not you everyone subscribes to your religion. Yes, your religion, your God, your this. Leave your God in the house when you when you're dealing with the world. And this is the same way I feel about when they get over into politics and they bring they bring the morality things in and how they try mm -hmm. to do things against the girls. Yeah, yeah. Against you and girl, yeah, the girls yeah. included. Like they they try to bring this in. Like you know, y'all, this nation is not even under God. Don't play with me. Because, because where is your God when you're doing all of this heinous stuff to black and brown people? Don't bring your God into this right now because you don't you don't worship him him or her in, in any other motherfucking time. So, bitch, don't bring that in here. Don't bring your freedom of what you believe and all this type of shit. You have the right, your freedom to believe whatever you choose to believe, mm -hmm. but you can't force me to do it. Right. And, bitch, here's the thing about it. Let me let me let me add to this. I don't give a fuck if you believe that I'm a she, her, or her or not. Mm -hmm. Bitch, when I'm on this, when I'm on this motherfucking telephone, bitch, with you, and my name is Madison Hinton, bitch, and my presentation, if you don't want to talk, transfer the line to somebody else. Mm -hmm. I don't need to speak to you. Transfer the line to someone else. Mm -hmm. You don't want to subscribe. You don't want to do it. Because I don't want to work with you no I don't way. need to, you because I don't need you trying to fuck up my shit Correct. in any fucking way. Right. Because you feel some type of way. Right. Transfer the shit over. Mm -hmm. And even with her, I don't know what her religion was, but she probably had done told us, well, I bitch, I, I ain't never going to call that motherfucking bitch no she and her. Mm -hmm. Well, you did today. And if you you didn't have to because I because you had one more. Bitch, if you'd have crossed the line after I'd have told you, man, I would have motherfucking told you, I need to speak to your supervisor. No, bitch, I'd have got in my broomstick and went out there. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> where the bitch that I was just talking to on the phone? <laughs> No, no. You, this is the right address. I know where I am. Right, right, right. <laughs> no, no. You say, sorry, my God goes where, goes where you... And that's great. So does mine. My God my God is with me right now while I'm sitting here telling telling people to do whatever you do. But it's just the fact of the matter. Don't try to rap. Because a lot of you girls who are using your God to, to, to enforce vicious sanctions against people, mm -hmm. God wouldn't even do that. Yeah. God wouldn't even do that. A lot of y'all that take y'all religion and do the things that y'all do against people, God wouldn't even do that. And remember, they used religion to justify slavery for a long time. They said God. Craig, there's one quote that you said the other day on the show. Hmm. When they showed up to Africa, they <laughs> were holding the Bible. Girl, that was Desmond Tutu. By the time they left Africa, we had the Bible and they had the land. Yep. Girl, no. It is. It is. Like Black that. folks. And I just want to say this about black folks. I know that there are other communities like Hispanic communities are often uh, Catholic, steeped in Catholic belief. Um, but when it comes to black folks, we are so um, so lost in religion that sometimes we don't even use our, our common sense. No. Um, and, in, and even when you think about like this whole me mega church, I think we talked about this maybe on one of the first fag talks we did. And we were talking about mega churches and how the most educated black folks go to these mega churches, make the most money, but they never really question where their money is going. They raise all these different offerings in the church. There's a building fund. There's the love offering for the pastor. There's the youth this, and there's the parking lot that we got to rebuild. And you don't ask any questions. You just write your check and don't ask any questions. So you're supposed to be the most educated people, but don't ask the most important questions. Because what we've been trained to believe, culturally, is that it is blasphemous to ask questions. It's blasphemous to question a man of God. Just like when we got over here and we were talking about T.D. Jakes, a lot of you were like, oh, don't be talking about that. That's a man of God. You better be careful what you put your, ma your mouth on. Well, Miss Mary definitely told me. And when I be talking about Kim Burrell and all of them. Girl, she's evil. Well, I, I tell them. Kim Burrell well, is well, my evil. My mama don't tell me that about Kim Burrell. My mama, say she, oh, okay. my mama said that. That she, that she has the, her she has a nasty disposition about mm -hmm. herself, the very nasty. Mm -hmm. You can tell that it's very it's very nasty, very condescending, very this. But I think it's because she's she was it's that old church passed down to her. Yes, you know. Yeah. And that, I'll also say this, backing up what Greg is also saying. We're always saying that we always put all our one hundred percent faith into religion. I'm not saying God. I'm saying religion. Right. We're yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. right. Because God gave you a brain also to know yeah. what's right and what's wrong. So if you're still going to allow somebody to dupe you, well then yeah. 
What do you expect to have? There's absolutely a distinction between religion duped. and spirituality. I do the duping. Religion and <laughs> spirituality are two different things. Like I'm all for spirituality. Spirituality is your connection to God. I believe your conscience is is your direct connection to God. God is speaking to you through your conscience, through your instincts. Right. Yes. Well, here's the thing that when, when me and my mother get into these drawn out conversations about this, she talks to me, she says that people don't want to follow um, God's commandments and God's word and God's rules and his regulations. Mm -hmm. And they want to they want to use spirituality like I'm just going to be free and not follow any of the guidelines right. and this and the other, which I can, which I, which I do understand and I do you know, because that's what was embedded in me growing up. Uh -huh. But I still have questions. There are things that I still have questions on. Like, I still have questions about stuff. You because, know? I mean, some of the stuff is just absurd. If you really want to, like, women can't wear pants. Like, at one time, religion said that. Well, it's always changing. Well, right. So, like, what what does that have to do with godliness, though? I don't think God cares. If well, a woman, a woman wasn't pants. supposed to preach. A woman wasn't supposed to be lead. in the pulpit. She wasn't supposed to lead. None of those right. things. Like, you get what I'm saying? But here's how, girl, it's so many questions I have that I don't want to get, I don't want to make this section yeah, about yeah. that. My thing was about this was, it's about respect. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people get into this space of what they believe in, and they re and they don't respect any other boundaries except the confines of what they believe. Exactly. You because know, because that's what, what you were taught. Yes. Like, and I, I say this all the time: whoever taught you religion really dictated like what you believe, unless you at some point deviate from what you were taught. My grandmother taught me religion. My grandmother was Catholic. I'm not Catholic, but when I pray, I do this because she taught me how to pray. But I'm, I'm, I'm clear enough and wise enough to know that at some point, as I started to evolve and become my own person, you have to separate the things that you were taught to believe about religion and God from what you know to be true for yourself. This is what I, I truly believe in, my, in where I'm at now. I believe that there is a source. I absolutely do. I believe that there's a source. And if you out there that don't, don't believe that there is a source, that's on you. Mm -hmm. I'm not judging you because if you don't believe that there's a source, I'm not, I'm, I'm not putting you in heaven, hell, or purgatory, or whatever. But I do feel like yeah. this. If you are walking through this world and you're walking through this world thinking that you're walking through this world by your own design, you, my dear, are a fool. Mm -hmm. Because you have to be in a space of thinking that there is something bigger than you guiding your footsteps guiding you or something that that you need to call on in a space to help you through things i don't know what it is now i was in the car with the guy that was working on my floors the other day mm -hmm. and we were talking about this and he's a christian or whatever he says master i can be friends with anybody i can be friends hang with you know i could whatever because mm -hmm. and i'm not going to sit over here and let nobody tell me well god don't want y'all around there or god don't this or god this, because mm -hmm. god created everything mm -hmm. If we, if we're technically speaking, mm -hmm. you know, and we both, it's good. It's good. So we sat there in the car and we, and we talked and, and I told him, I don't care what nobody believes. Mm -hmm. Now that's Satanism and stuff. I get back from it, but that's they believe. Uh -huh. But I slide away. Hey, that's, hey, okay. Mm -hmm. That's your belief. Mm -hmm. Cause obviously something in whatever their belief system is, did something to, for them for them to believe in something. Mm -hmm. That's the way I see it. So when we were in the car talking, I told him, sweetheart, I'm not arguing with nobody about this and that or whatever. I'm not, I'm not arguing and fussing about none of that. Mm -hmm. All I want people to do is collectively respect me as a human. Mm -hmm. Respect me. Don't bring in this shit about it, cause if cause if me as a human and being a a man to woman or woman to man or whatever it is uh, uh, constitutes for you to disrespect me, I can't subscribe to that. Right. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Right. You feel me? Yeah. <clears throat> All I want you as a human being to do <clears throat> is respect me as a human being. Right. Treat me as if as a human being. You know I got to do the same thing as you as a human being do. I got to live. Yeah. I got to eat. Got to breathe. I got to breathe. I got to have a roof over my mm -hmm. head. I got to I got to take care of me and and, and yeah. what's mine. When you go to making rules and regulations and shit like that that are convenient for you. That are convenient to you and anti that for right, me. Right. Don't hide behind God. Yeah. Or what you believe to because no God that you believe in believing and serve is going to tell you as a human being 
you don't need this. They, this, this, this is a, not the fundamental things mm -hmm. that you need as a human being to survive. That you need to be denied from that, or those things should be taken away from you mm -hmm. because you believe this. Right. But I, but I think also um, there are a lot of things that will happen on this side of life that we won't get understanding on until we get to the other side. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of the things that we trying to find answers. I don't think some things will be answered while we're here. It's going to be hard for it to be answered. You know what I mean? Yeah, I just think that there are certain things that we won't find the answers for. And I don't think that that's what life is about. I think... Okay, so sometimes I'll be thinking real kind of like... <laughs> is it the edible? <laughs> baby, when I'm on that edible, baby, my mind just opens up. But I think sometimes that when I think about life, sometimes I think of it as just a big grand test that God has us undergoing. He wants it, the reason why there are different religions, re different races, different sexes, because different it's one source. And I think He's trying to. I think this whole thing is just a, is is a test to see how we handle and function with each other. You know what I mean? I think He made us all different. I totally just because it's like if we if we're gonna talk about these uh, ten commandments and about how you treat people and treat your brothers, your brother and your sisters, all that stuff. But then look at how we mistreat people because of race or because of However, we're different, whatever the differences are. And it's like we fail at that miserably over and over and over and over again. My dad told me this. He said, he said, to him, according to this life, this life is like a marketplace. Yeah. And you are here to do your best works. And once your time is up, mm -hmm. God decides if he wants to buy you, technically, quote, quote unquote, mm -hmm. or he wants to discard you. Yeah. So dependent on if your works according to him are good or not, meaning it dependent on how you behave in this world or how you act in this world will determine what your reward will be at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So this place that we're living in, yeah, because I won't lie. Sometimes I, I wake up and I'm like, man, this feels like I'm in my own world, like I'm in my own movie. Mm -hmm. And I'm the star of my own movie. And according to how I go through it and how I end my movie will determine how the next sequence is going to go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I believe people need to start looking at it more like that and start thinking of, okay, me being, me associated with other people, no fat matter our differences, no matter, because there's nothing wrong with have, having different viewpoints. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's how you treat people because right. of viewpoints. Mm. That's the problem. Right. Baby, the way you pointed that finger remind me of that time I was in church. Your pussy! Hey, bring the camera or something. Bring the camera. All the young girls who want to make life with pussy, your pussy will perish with you in hell. May your pussy perish with you. May your smooth pussy, clean your pussy, and tight pussy perish with you. My finger did not do that. It did. My did it not just do that. did that. My did not it's doing it now. <laughs> He's doing it now. <laughs> it is. Baby, we have had some words on this Sunday. Y'all don't feel the spirit. I, I, yes. How have my shape. Shay. Yes, Lord, honey. Yes, God, but I let that woman motherfucking person know it, it was ma'am the first seven times you said, sir. Yes. I, yes. How, how I you may have told yourself when you watch me on something, I ain't never calling that motherfucking bitch no she or her. Uh -huh. But guess what? Hey. I, 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 yes. How, how my you had one more time to terrorize me, bitch, and you was going to go down there to the HR building, and I was going to be a Karen on your black nigga ass. Uh, uh, yes. How have my shape? I'm sorry. I, 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 I had to remind myself where I was at. Praise God. But this is what not revival. Praise God, and we're in testimony. First, giving honor to God. Da, 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 
who's the head of my life, giving honor to my pastors. Amen. Bishop and Executive Overseer Dewey, giving honor to my brother, Elder Montmore, giving honor to Bishop Moore, to Amen, Mother Dr. Moore, giving honor to the praise team. Yeah, yes. I tell you, I'm saved and sanctified. Holy Ghost filled and fire baptized. I, I got the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Glory to God. I love him and I thank him. Glory to God that even in my ba 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 sha na na ba na na sha na. Baby, let me tell you something. The way he had harmonizing that, it made me want to get some money. You feel me? <laughs> it made me want to pass the plate around. Oh, yes, 